and welcome back to Bunny Ballistics. It's Hotomi here again. Uh, today we have kind of a special treat. We have some 9mm uh, interceptors. Finally got them in the mail. Uh, they're made by, um, who is it? Ballistic Machinist, another YouTuber. You should go check them out. Um, if you guys have ever watched Tal Plater Mouse, um, Ballistic Machinist sends them a lot of really, really cool ammo. Um, yeah, so I'm excited to shoot these. Um, so we're gonna just get into it, all right? Okay, I'm gonna show you what we're using and a little bit about the ammo. Okay, so here we have our interceptor uh, nine millimeter. They are 90 grains, as you can see. 1335 is their FPS out of 4.6 inch barrel. Here's kind of what they look like. These are very, oh, they're just so cool. You can see like the machine marks on them. Like, how freaking cool is that? Not, not exactly cheap. Probably not the most practical, but really, really awesome. And we're going to be using my P365 XL. We're going to be using it just with the normal 3.7 inch barrel. And uh, let's get into our chrono tests. The chrono tests are a little different this time around. And we added, um, or I, I should say I added, um, some aiming to it so you guys can see uh, so hopefully it works out all right I also use a new camera so um, fingers crossed everything looks good okay chrono now all right y'all like I said we're doing stuff a little different hopefully we'll have chrono speed here <laughs> hopefully uh, but here's gonna be our shot today is the interceptor I am super excited about this round you know, 90 grain, 1335, but a, uh, I think a four inch barrel. Really cool. They come from Ballistic Machinist, another YouTuber. Very awesome. Uh, so hopefully this all works. It took me forever to set up. <laughs> so hopefully everything goes okay. Recording, recording. Okay, double checking. And we're also going to try and get accuracy out of this too. So hopefully that works too. She was supposed to say it to us though. Okay, let's see if we can get her to talk now. If not, you guys can see it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 13. Alright, let's continue on. We got our interceptor through bare gel. Wow, so look at that aftermath of this. Look how well it opened. Wow. Did not go very deep. Uh, one second, we will have to grab the tape measure. Okay, so we're back. Went to about seven and a half inches. Really crazy wound cavity it made. Like, it literally spans the whole thickness of this block. Wow. Okay, let's shoot it through denim and see. All right, intercept around through our denim. Oh, 
Okay, interceptor through our denim. Look at that. It did not give a F. <laughs> it went literally the same as the other one. Wow. You can see some denim got pulled in with it. And uh, um, the wound track on this, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. Hopefully this camera isn't trash. But the wound track is, oh, it's freaking massive. Wow. But, okay, we'll pull these out and we will take a look at them. Jeez. Oh, there might even be a denim plug in that. All right, we'll see. All right, these are awesome. Look at this. So this is our first one out of uh, the bear gel. Look at all that. How cool is that? And again, you can see all the markings on there. I don't know if you can hear it, but you can kind of get that same noise on it. Oh, sorry. Uh, look at that. Now, they're solid copper, so I don't expect them to have lost anything. Uh, they're 90 grains. So, yep, that's about right on where it would uh, be. And then we have our denim shot which quite honestly looks exactly the same except it is a uh, full with denim the 90.7 so it's probably just the plug making it a little bigger and then if we put these side by side I mean they, they are almost identical. They really are. The heights, the just, just everything. Almost identical. The bear gel might have gotten a little more expanded. Not sure if I can show you guys that real easily. You can see it's kind of expanded a little more. But they're pretty freaking even. There it goes again. Okay, that one did fall off the table. Okay, let's <laughs> let's do the diameters now. And the diameters we're just gonna do. You know, there's there's two. We're gonna do two different stars. So look at that. Woo! One point oh six. We have another one point oh six. And let's move over to the denims now. Our first denim is 1.07. And then 1.06. I'm telling you, these are just machined so great that they're literally the same. Denim or not, it didn't care. That is amazing. Okay, let's, let's go and let's finish up here. There we have it. Uh, those are those interceptors. These things are really, really cool. Now, for the price, I probably couldn't recommend them. Um, it's just probably a really small operation for them right now, so I understand the price. Um, and you got to do what you can afford, obviously. But uh, I mean, if they were cheaper, I would, I would use these all the time. Um, very cool. Um, I know people aren't gonna like how much they penetrated, but I mean, the wound was just, my God. Like, just, just look at that. Over an inch of death, <laughs> pretty much. Like, really cool. Um, I would say if you can get them, pick them up. Um, they're kind of hard to get. You kind of have to you know, opt in for the email and then really rush in to get them because um, there were like 500 made only last time and when I got to it it said there was like 30 left then I looked again and they were gone 
So, um, I can't remember the exact price on them. I want to say they were somewhere in the $40 to $50 range. Very expensive for $20, but they are machined, so cool. Um, other than that, I, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know what you guys thought of these. Um, if they were cheaper, would you guys use them? I know penetration is kind of eh, but uh, personally I like them. Um, you know, I don't think about a bullet I haven't liked, quite honestly. As long as it shoots out the barrel, I think it works. <laughs> but uh, but I, uh, I digress. Um, other than that, I guess uh, you guys know all of the, the normal freaking jazz. Uh, subscribe if you liked it. Make sure you hit the like button. Do all your comments. Let's get some conversations going. I know I've been kind of slacking lately, but... Uh, there's just some things in life that finally got kind of put back in order, so um, not to like drag my shit into this, but um, yeah, other than that, um, oh, I never, no, wrong, uh, but yes, <laughs> I have a Patreon too, uh, please join it, that's how I am trying to afford all this, um, as well as trying to get more caliber guns, um, I'm on a very tight budget. Um, and yeah, um, that's about <laughs> the only kind of extra income I have. Um, I do save, obviously, but it's little at a time. Um, anyways, I sound like I'm begging for money. Um, I hope you guys liked all this. Um, this is really, I started this as a hobby for me, not, not for YouTube. It just kind of happened to make its way there. Uh, there's a Google Docs uh, document. Go look at it. Go find all the past stuff we've done. Um, and uh, that's it. I'm rambling. Y'all have a really good one. Um, I'm going to be out of town until Monday, the, the, the first or something. I, I, I don't know. I'm bad with time. Monday. Today's Thursday morning, kind of. <laughs> and uh, I'm rambling again. I love you guys. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.